Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for the conclusion of Group A. Yes, the concluding rounds of the group stage are beginning. And well, <laughs> strap yourselves in because we're in for a marathon because if all goes to plan, this there should be three tournament videos going up today. Group A, Group B and Group C. So yeah, absolute insanity, isn't it? But yes, we are doing Group A here. Starting off with Ghidorah going up against Michaela. Cerno Sockstrong is Fairy taking on the host Stranger Gamer. And then Engineer Gaming going up against Yamazana doing well. <laughs> it's still all to play for. So yeah, first matchup, a win for Ghidorah will pretty much guarantee top spot. A bonus point win and it'll be 100% guaranteed. Anything other than a bonus point win will eliminate Michaela. Of course, even the bonus point win will not probably not be enough unless they get to unless they get a 3-0 win which i don't see happening and you'll see why in a minute because a 3-0 win would take them to eight points but again you know quite a few people in fourth place in the other groups are on eight points already well two of two of them actually no one person no two people are on eight points already and are in fourth place so eight points might do it but Probably not. Well, seven, I don't think we'll do it. But we'll just have to see, won't we? So, yeah, that's match numero uno. Number two. Oh, well. <laughs> really, really panicking because it's, it's, it's a knockout game. Although, Suno does need a bone. Although, even if I lose, as long as Engineer Gaming wins their match, I'll safely go through. As long as Suno doesn't get a bonus point win, then, then I'm in trouble. Because then I could drop down into fourth. So yeah, all I need is at least a losing bonus point to get the job done. Well, at least a losing bonus point should be enough. Provided that Yamazana do gets beaten by Engineer Gaming. So, just need a win. A win will do it. A win will make it official. Actually, will it? Yeah, it will. Wow, so many stipulations. Because if I win, I'll go to 11 points. So, well, Ghidorah would have already played and probably will win their matchup. So they'll be on 14 or 15. Probably 15. So I'll go up to second. And then if Yamazana do gets a 3-0 win, they could go up to 11. But because they beat me in the first matchup, they'll go above me. So I'll go into third and Engineer Gaming will drop into fourth. But on 10 points, Engineer Gaming will probably go through anyway. But yeah, all those stipulations. Let's not talk about it. Let's see what happens. Okay then, in the red corner, for Ghidorah, it is a Shantungosaurus. Ah, uh, well... Again, this champ has kind of had the type disadvantage in pretty much all of Ghidorah's matches so far. But, it hasn't been costly. Well, except for the second match with a Megaraptor, but, you know, Megaraptor is, is, a, lot, is, a, lot more, is a lot more powerful than you strapped on Gojurasaurus. So that's probably, and I did get a crit, so that's probably why. But, in the blue corner for Michaela, it's some Lexoversaurus. Well... Based on this ta this matchup, I can't see McKay again a 3 0 win. No chance. Like, she would probably have to get like two crits in a row here to have a slight chance, but well, look at that. No crit. Oh, and. and. if the freaking button will work, Ghidorah gets the first hit. Ooh, it's nature's blessing, healing up from that tie. Oh, another tie. Ooh, well, Lexoversaurus does get a hit back, but look at that. Really poor damage, poor output there. Earth Barrier will probably delay the inevitable, let's be honest. Well, I actually wouldn't be surprised if this actually kills Lexoversaurus, even with the Earth Barrier. I mean, if it doesn't, then I would probably say that's good for Michaela, because it wastes it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not surprised. Type advantage, super-powered crit. Shantungasaurus giving Michaela the 1-0 lead. No, giving Ghidorah a 1-0 lead. Right, as for Michaela's second day, you know, it is a Giga. And we all saw what our Magma Blaster can do. Wow, it's not even Max. This Giga, I believe, is Counter-Type. 
Might be counter type. Maybe it's hunter type. Well, whatever type it is, it was bloody lethal. Oh, it's a tie. Can Michaela get a hit on the ball? Well, they got one hit off. Yeah, this is. Well, I said it. I said at the start of the video, this is gonna be easy street for Ghidorah. Entering the last 32 round in style. Oh, this will probably be a nature's blessing. Ooh, I tell you what though, this Magma Blaster is going to kill the Shant. Well, it should. Let's be honest, it should. Oh yeah, down it goes. Michaela may be teetering on the edge of elimination, but they're definitely putting up a fight. That was really good. Right, as for Ghidorah's second dino, it is the ever so reliable Spinosaurus. And well, it has been Mr. Reliable for Ghidorah in this tournament, and if I'm honest, it has carried him through quite a few of the matches. So, that could be a downfall in, in, in the latter stages, having an over-reliance on one dinosaur. Even if that dinosaur is powerful, which the, which the spino is, but it's a crit! Well, Michaela coming back strong. Look at that, another crit from the Giga. Um... I'm not sure what's happening. Look at this! Michaela in the lead. Can they do it? Oh, well, they went for three crits in a row, but the Spino saw it coming. Oh, well, there is another crit. Three crits from the Giga, and all of a sudden... Spino going down, didn't even get a hit. And Ghidorah down to his third Dino. Our Dino being the Super Eocarcaria. The Awaken Mode on three, of course. Might actually need that Awaken Mode to get this done. Well, Ghidorah will not be guaranteed top spot now. Well, they might still win. They might still get it with this win. You know, win will probably still be enough for them to get top spot, but it won't be guaranteed because they didn't get the bonus point win. Oh, it's a tie. Look at this from the... Oh, it's a Dino Stuffer! <laughs> oh, there's the Dino Stuffer. Gone in a flash. The Giga went for another crit, but the Dino Stuffer said no. Okay, that's once. Oh, there's a tie, and that will be the end of Giga Nonosaurus. Like, come on, Gido. Stop going scissors. All of her crits are rock. You are literally playing into her hands. By playing scissors. So don't do it. Well, Michaela, can they finish their tournament on a high? Unfortunately, the Giga did die, so that will eliminate Michaela from this tournament, as they will not be able to get her enough points to get out of the group. Well, to give themselves a chance to get out of the group, so yeah, Michaela is eliminated, but can they finish their tournament on a high? Oh, that's a tie. I tell you what, though, Michaela is going to be knocked out, but they're putting up a fight against Ghidorah. Like I said, this would be easy street for Ghidorah, and it's anything but easy street. Look at this. All right, twice once. The Taurosaurus is on three, so they're both free. Well, well, oh, wait, wait, Eokarkiri is dead. Oh, look at that. Michaela getting the win! Well, sadly for Michaela's sake, and, and for mine, we didn't get to see the Awaken mode, so the screenshot's gonna be a bloody nightmare. But sadly for Michaela's sake, it just didn't get they didn't get the bonus point win, so it will not be enough for them to get to get out of the group A. So yep, Michaela will be eliminated. But at least they finished their tournament on a high. So you know, a statement win against Ghidorah there. And, you know, could that set Ghidorah back going into the knockout rounds? A defeat like that? Not good. But, you know, Ghidorah's already through, so it doesn't really matter. And we just have to say, well done to Michaela. Right, the O then. Now then. <laughs> now the real fun begins, because it's a massive game between 
myself and Cerno Strongest Fury. But before we get on with that match, we'll just have a quick look at the table as it stands for Group A. Yep, that's how Group A looks going into the second match. Michaela unfortunately out. Well, they are in fourth only by virtue of the fact that they beat Yamazamadu, which was also a good win. But yeah, they're only six points and enough to get out as, four, as a fourth place team. Because, well, Pilk is on eight. Seven Shots is on seven. Alpha Troopers on seven. MEJP 10 is on seven. Fool's Cap and on eight. So yeah, that's five already. So yeah, Michaela is out of the tournament. But, but again, at least they finish on a high. Now then, now for the match that I am pricking myself for because it is Cerno Strongest Theory going up against Stranger Gamer next. Well, here we go. In the red corner for Cerno Strongest Theory is you strap the Spondylus. If ever Cerno needed a performance, it's now. They've still got a chance. A bonus point win will take them to eight points and will put them above the hosts. Into third place, I might add. So it's still to play for. In the blue corner for our host, it's the Mega Raptor. A win for the hosts will take the, a win for Stranger will take him safely through to the last 32 and keep mountains of pressure on Yamazanadu. Oh, this is it. If, if ever I needed a result, it was now. Well, last time, last time I got the result I needed. Can I do it again? Oh no, it's a crit! Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna go horrible. Well, again, I can still get out if I, if, if I can get at least a losing bonus point. That'll put me to nine points. And nine points might be enough to get out as one of the best fourth place teams, but it's not gonna be, oh great, random number generator being an ass. But yeah, it's not gonna look, it's gonna be very uncomfortable recording all the other matches. Oh, it's gonna, it's, it's, a, it's a brutal match. It's gonna be tough. You know, oh, you, ah, hey, you fixed, right. Right, let's try again. Oh, that's a tie anyway. <laughs> Three scissors in a row there. Oh no, another crit. God, make her have to do something. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a cyclone. Just the start Cerno wants. Like, I, I just need to not go... Oh, oh, the big crit! Oh, can the host turn this around? Stranger striking back with his first attack of the match, and it's a big one. It's a tornado toss. Boosh! Oh, look at that! And a cyclone as well, turning the screw like a boss. Ooh, but in comes the recovery. In comes the biting win. Cerno striking back. Well, it's, it's been very unconvincing from the host so far in this tournament. Oh, good, Mega Raptor survived. <laughs> oh, no, the Cyclone. Okay, I don't, I don't mind. I think that's got a thousand techniques, so he should get Cyclone off more often than not. Oh, no, he's never crit. Cerno in the lead. Mega Raptor going down and... Oh, I'm in trouble here. Well, here come. If ever I needed this thing to work, it was now. Go on, Kama, you can do it. If ever there was a time for me to get off. Ocean panic, it's now. Well, this is it, isn't it? It's all on the wild card. Wait, I just realised... Oh god, i got to type this advantage against Mini King. I just realised that. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna get... Oh, I'm gonna get knocked out of the group stage. Oh no! Come on, Gamma! Oh, it's gonna be all on Deinonychus, isn't it? Oh, for god, oh, for god's sake. That's literally the perfect counter to my whole strategy here. Is Cyclone, I hate it. Oh, thank God, I finally got a hit, got a hit, got a hit. Come on, Kama, come back into it. Oh, I'm going to need another two of those hits. Oh, is a 2-0 lead looking likely? Please get an ocean panic. Okay, it's a tie, but... Oh, I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I, I, I'm in big trouble. Oh, for God. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm gonna have nightmares over this, you strep despondulous. Right, come on, Dynamic Desk, come on. It's all on you again. <laughs> oh, this is going horribly wrong. Well, okay, can I at least secure a losing bonus point, which will give me a fi real fighting chance? Like, eight, eight points might turn out to be enough, you never know, but it probably won't be. <laughs> oh. Come on, Deinonychus. Like, come on, random number generator. Be good to me. Oh, please, please kill the Eustrep the Spondylus at least. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, we've got defense boost going. Okay, the upside is that the Mini King does not have great attack. So, with defense boost and light recovery, we should be okay. Because they're probably going to get a bunch of turn more hits. Because, you know, random number, number generator they did me this map. But, okay, here we go. Cerno's second Dino. It is Mini King. See, this is where I wish I traded defense boost for attack boost so I could just shred this thing. But no matter. We got what we want. We got the defense boost instead. Oh, oh, yes, yes, a hit. Go on, Dynamicus. The host, can he do it? Yeah, look at that. Two more hits and I'm back in the match. Go on, give me a crit. Give me a crit. Go on, give me a crit. Okay, I'll take a hit, though. Boosh! Dynamicus, can they do it? Look at this from the host, showing some defiance. Up, oh, up, oh, here comes the lightning strike, but we're maxed up with defense boost. We got the secret move triggered. This shouldn't do too much damage. Oh. Oh, the secret move wasn't triggered. Okay, that's a tie. Well, the losing bonus point's guaranteed now. Oh, hang on, maybe not. Light recovery might be coming in. Well, it is going to come in. Oh, look at that. Over half health. No losing bonus point for Suno yet. But here comes the Kralophosaurus. Stranger coming back into this. Okay. Given how this match has gone, I will take a losing bonus point. Because nine points should be enough. Because I can't see everyone in four, currently in fourth place winning in this round. So nine points might be enough. Oh. Of course, then, i got to hope. Well, actually, yeah, actually, no, I should be okay. As long as Engineer Gaming wins it, match, I should be okay. Oh, no. God, Deinonychus, he done so well. <laughs> nah, that's, nah, that's it. Wow. Cerno got the win. It might not be enough, but... Well, <laughs> gonna have to look at the table, isn't I? Well, you're just gonna have to wait and see now for Cerno. Seven points. Pro again, as I said, probably won't be enough to get out of the group as the fourth place, guys. And look at that. Clinging on to third place. But it all comes down to this next matchup now. The concluding match of Group A between Engineer Gaming and Yamazanadu. A win for Engineer Gaming will, will mean they top Group A. Well, a losing bonus point won't be enough because they lost to Ghidorah. A win for Engineer Gaming will be enough for the hosts to go through as well as in third place. But if Yamazanadu wins, they will snatch third place and leave the hosts teetering on the edge of elimination. Well, it's panic time, isn't it? It's panic time. I think I think it would be no exaggeration here to say that I am fully rooting for Engineer Gaming to win this match. Come on, Engineer Gaming. I and I would honestly want him to win 3 0. I never wanted to see someone win 3 0 so badly. Come on, Engineer Gaming. Can Engineer Gaming get this win, which will enable them to top Group A, which overall I think they deserve. They deserve to win the group. They've been the most convincing in it. And I do have the type advantage over this Gojirasaurus. But a win for Yamazanadu, and they will go through in third place. And leave the host teetering on the brink of elimination. And they will also eliminate Cerno's strongest theory as well. 
Oh, it's a tie. Burning dash getting triggered, but the ties do favour the Gujirasaurus. Oh, another tie. Namazana do all my this. Oh, there's a hit from the acro. Engineer Gaming striking first. Oh, there's another hit. Boosh. Oh, a flare sword coming in. That will probably take out the Gojirasaurus. And this is a strong start from Engineer Gaming. Looking to bounce back after suffering their first defeat of the tournament against Kodora. Right, the O then. As for the Amazanadu second dino is Super Tara Ruras. Well, Super Tara Ruras is... Well, Super, of course. The Awaker mode on three, I believe. Yep. I thought the Amazanadu would do better than they have done. Well, you never know, they might win this match and go through, but... So, yeah, I consider that a, re a, gate, a result for them. Well, there is a hit. I think that's their first hit of this match. Attack boost to come as well. The Awaken mode could be key here. Oh, it's a tie! The Quick Saber getting triggered. Oh, it's another tie. And yes, I clicked scissors instead of paper, but it doesn't matter because it was a tie anyway. Ooh, the Acro getting the hit. Engineer Gaming chipping away at the Tararuras, but the Crystal Crusher has been triggered. Okay, that's twice. Oh, how big could this be? Oh, it's a burning dash. Engineer Gaming gonna have a 2-0 lead. Ooh, and our host could be sitting more comfortably now as the Talarurus goes down. Come on, Engineer Gate, get this done. Right, as for the Amazon Adu's third dino, it is a Super Eel Carcaria. Do not count the Amazon Adu out yet, they do have the Death Fire, and well. So far, they've only got it up off once, and unfortunately for me, that was against me. Will Deathfire come to Yamazanadu's rescue again? Oh, it's a tie! Burning Dash getting triggered again! Oh, he got it off again! Engineer Gaming coming back strong! Look at this from the Acro! And Engineer Gaming looking set to win Group A! Look at that! Alright, that's one. Well, I think we can all praise the um, Acrocamphosaurus as it did absolutely amazing there. And look at that, losing bonus point guaranteed for Engineer Gaming. Of course, that won't be enough to top Group A. Right, as for Engineer Gaming's second dino, it is Panoplosaurus. One hit will do it for Engineer Gaming now. And our hosts might be spared some blushes. Oh yeah, definitely. Saved the embarrassment and got knocked out of the group stage of your own tournament by someone else. <laughs> oh, is it tie? Well, it's not over yet. Okay, yeah, there it is. Engineer Gaming getting the job done. Yamazanadu just did not get going at all and is eliminated. And also, Suno's Strongest Theory is eliminated as well. And our host, Stranger Gamer, will sit comfortably in third place and cling on to qualify from the group. Wow, that is a way to conclude a group stage. Well, one of the groups anyway, but yes, we'll look at the final table for group A and end the session. Oh, that's such a huge relief, huge relief. Huge relief there, they just did enough to get the job done. But Engineer Gaming, impressive, impressing in Group A, and winning Group A on 14 points, and I'll have a quick look. Yes, so Engineer Gaming wins Group A there on 14 points, and I, they deserve it, they deserve to win Group A. Then you have Ghidorah in second place on 11 points, three wins, two bonus points, and then clinging on by the skin of my teeth. Our host, Stranger Gamer, on 8 points, showing how crucial those bonus points are. 
they are just so crucial in, in, in the group stage. And it is telling you, as our hosts cling on to third place despite losing, just to get through, just. And then Cerno's strongest theory in fourth place, and we'll, pro we'll have an anxious wait to see if seven points will be enough. I probably think it won't be. And then Michaela and Yamazana do eliminated from the tournament. So yes, Engineer Gaming will be playing. Oh, we'll have a fourth place team in their last 32 round. Ghidorah will be going up against... Ooh, Ghidorah will be taking on whoever finishes third in Group F. So that could be one of Ra Diddy Darius, Ratchet, Dino Nerd, Jonas Chew, Arctic Warriors. And probably not Dino Pug. It'll probably be one of Jonas, Dino Nerd, Ratchet, and that's it. Could be favourable matchup for Ghidorah there. And as for me, I will be taking on whoever wins Group I, which will most likely be Dark Ash Star or Marissa Kurosami. And, well... I can beat those two. <laughs> oh, wow. It's not been convincing, but just did enough to survive. Yep, that is Group A, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. <laughs> I need a breather after that. So yes, stay tuned for next time where we conclude Group B. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.